Hello friends, hope you all are doing fine. In this video, I am going to show you how to create model mesh class. This class is used to represent drawable entities. As you can see, we are creating our VAO and VBO OpenGL objects inside the main method and we have draw calls in our game loop. So we can move those drawable object related code into a separate class. I call it the model mesh class okay now i am creating header file and source file for this model mesh class once it is done let's start coding okay now let's go to the header file and create model mesh class first of all we create the constructor the constructor takes one argument called file path it is the path to obj model file and then we create the destructor then we need to create update function the update function will be used to update transformation of the object and then we create draw function which takes model shader as the argument okay then let's include model shader.h file and then let's create a private function called load model and this will load the obj model file and will create the vertex data then of course we need to create a vector a float vector to hold the vertex data and also we need an integer to hold the vertex count okay and now we need unsigned int variable for opengl vertex array and uh, then another unsigned int variable for uh, opengl vertex buffer object okay then we need to create a matrix for our model matrix first of all let's include glm headers for that and then let's create matrix for variable for model matrix okay now the header file is done now let's copy all the functions into the source file and let's start implementing them okay i created empty method bodies of screen now let's start from the constructor okay let's initialize our vertex count to zero and the model matrix to the identity matrix and then let's call load model function with the file path okay before going forward let's implement the load model function first of all we need to include obj model h file and then inside the load model function let's create the obj model object and then we should call load from file function with the given file path and then we can set our vertices vector by calling obj model dot get vertex data function and then we can set our vertex count by calling obj model dot get vertex count function okay now let's go back to the constructor now we should create vertex array objects and vertex buffer objects actually we already have that code so we can copy that code from the main method okay now we have to modify the variable names to match with the our class members okay now we need to delete vertex buffer object and vertex array object in the destructor okay then uh, we actually don't have anything to do in the update function in this video so let's move to the draw function okay in the draw function we can set our model matrix using set model matrix function in the model shader and then we can copy draw code from the main method so let's go there and copy it here okay now we are done with the model mesh class now it's time to try it okay First of all, we need to include model mesh.h file. Okay, then go to the main method 
and here we don't need this all code related to the obj model loading and also we don't need this commented code anymore and we need to create model mesh object and uh, we need to pass the obj model file here i am passing table.obj which is created by me using blender and inside the game loop we don't need these codes anymore instead of that we can call mesh.draw function and we need to pass model shader into it okay now all the coding is done now let's try it as you can see the result is good we have the rendering object okay thanks for watching